These are 21 pranks I pulled on Noob1234. It's a long video, so grab some popcorn, leave a like, and subscribe. Let's go. This house behind me belongs to Noob1234, and we are going to be doing seven extreme pranks on his house. So do me a favor and hit that like button down below. Let's go for 100,000 likes, and we will do more prank videos. And just in case you guys are wondering if this is really his house, there is a chicken lake, which is a three block source of water. And then there is this abomination of a chicken. What is wrong with this chicken? It looks literally just like him. And I mean, just look at his chest. Need I say more? Now it is time for our first prank. And this is not like an ordinary prank, okay? This is a super dispenser. Now, if you've watched my previous Minecraft videos, you know what a super dispenser does. It's a dispenser that's super. Once the dispenser's activated, it will release everything that you put inside of it, which means you could put TNT, but most importantly, spawn eggs. And what I have in my inventory right now is five stacks of spider spawn eggs. We gotta find a really good place to put this down. I'm not sure where. If I want to fill his entire house with spiders and, like, totally freak him out, I think we need to put it in, like, oh, yeah, right here in the corner. This is perfect. Oh, and look, he's got, he's got his little chicken over here. I feel so bad. Oh, oh, no, <laughs> look at the face. Okay, I don't feel that bad anymore. So we are now going to right-click the dispenser. We're going to put every single spawn egg we have inside of here. And now here's what we got to do. So we're going to put a stone button on the super dispenser. Duh, we got to activate it. And then we are going to put a personalized sign, free diamonds. What noob does not like free diamonds? Actually, I'm not going to spell it like diamonds because I've seen noob1234 spelling and it is so bad. So I think he calls diamonds diamonds. I think it's like this. Click button. Oh, this is perfect. I feel a little bit bad about this one, but at the same time, I mean, he's a noob. He'll forgive me, right? Like, if I did this in your house, would you guys forgive me? Why don't you guys go ahead and sauce me a comment? We are going to keep placing down the cobwebs because what spider prank is complete without placing cobwebs everywhere? I mean, we have a lot of cobwebs here, ladies and gentlemen. This is literally perfect. Now, what we have to do is we have to wait for noob1234 to come home. Home, and I'm pretty sure he was chowing down somewhere at a Chinese buffet, so he should be back soon. What a coincidence! A potion of invisibility. Now we can drink this and we can wait for him to come back inside. I do not want to miss out on this prank because this one took me ages to set up. I think this one's probably going to be one of the best pranks. Chicken, you cannot give away. Chicken, stop! You're going to give away the pranks. He's going to be back any second. Oh, there he is. What is he doing? Oh, he notices the cobweb. Wait, does he notice me? Oh, I'm so glad that I did not leave the gate open. That would have been a dead giveaway. He's talking. Why is he talking to us? Chickens do not talk. Come on. He's reading the free diamond sign. Yes. Come on. Yes. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is scary. I am so glad I'm invisible right now. Otherwise, these spiders would be devouring me. Oh, my gosh. Wait, they are. No, no. Oh, my gosh. Break backfired. Break backfired. Oh, I got to get out of here. Before I show you guys prank number two, I need you guys to do me a solid. If you are watching this video right now, which you are, but you are not subscribed, take your device and make that subscribe button as gray as possible. That way you never miss out on an amazing prank video like this one. So I call this one the obsidian trap. And what this one does is I have actually mine underneath this house. We've got pistons over here with redstone. We're going to place the obsidian on the sticky pistons. And then we are going to put stone pressure plates in the middle. Now, normally I think that you could probably get out of this. But knowing noob1234... He's not going to know what to do, and he's definitely not going to have a pickaxe on him. So we're going to place these stone pressure plates down like this. And just to give you guys an example of how annoying this is, watch. Once you walk over them, you, <laughs> you like, can't get out unless you're really fast. Oh, no. Am I stuck in my own prank? Oh, oh no. Wait, no. I know how to do this. I... Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, see, it's super hard to get out of. No noob would normally know how to get out of this situation. Oh, there he is. There he is. Yes. Yes. Keep on coming. Come on. No, no. Don't notice. Yes. Yeah. 
Hey, sorry, noob, but there's nobody who's going to help you today. Dude, oh my gosh, he's actually going crazy. You know what? This would not have happened to Noob1234 if he was wearing Preston Styles merchandise. Maybe next time, Noob1234, you will learn from your mistakes and go grab merch. It's so cheap, affordable, and comfy. There's no way you're gonna... He's trying to break it with his fist. We are going to be here for forever. <laughs> Okay, so for this one, I have to take off my headset because it is going to be extremely loud. As you can see, we have an entire hot bar full of TNT. You know what that means. TNT prank! You guys do remember the super dispensers we used in the first prank, right? Well, I may or may not have rigged a lot of them. Yeah, we've got a lot of super dispensers and we've got a lot of TNT and I've got this giant redstone circuit that's going to set them all off at once. This prank actually makes me feel a little bad for Noob1234. I mean, not a lot, but a little bit. You guys do remember, he used to steal my wife and put her in prison. Wait, what does that lever do? What does that other lever do? No! All right, all the super dispensers are loaded. The headset is back on. I warn you to turn your volume down. This is going to be very, very loud. So here's what we have to do. I have built this perfect hole. Look, when I go inside of it, you can't even see me. I thought the invisibility potion was getting a little bit old. So now we must wait for our new. This is literally like National Geographic. I'm just watching this noob. Oh, there he is. Hold on, he just went inside. We gotta break the block. Come on, here we go, here we go. Oh, he's gonna lose everything. I'm so sorry, noob, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, this is bad. Oh my gosh. Dude, oh my gosh. I just realized something. We blew his chicken up. The last thing he says before dying is Oh, I feel like a terrible person. But also at the same time, this is, this is what he gets for putting my wife in prison. I mean, come on, you can only feel so bad for the guy. But I think after this, he's probably going to need to move houses. So it didn't take me too long to find the noob's backup house because I found this sign, backup house. It was like maybe 50 blocks away from the house that we just blew up. It's actually, it looks like an abandoned mine shaft that he kind of built out. This is literally it. And there's no defenses, just a sign that is misspelled. And if you go inside of here, there's like nothing in here. There is a flower with a bed. Actually, I will say this. This house looks cleaner than his last one. Wait a second. What is, hold on. There's a book. There's a book. We got, we must read to attain more knowledge. Backup house. In case of emergency, I have made this special house. It is so well hidden. No one can find it. I can't help but feel that this is kind of what Brianna is like when she plays Minecraft. <laughs> Look, don't ever tell Brianna I said this, but she's also a noob. And I feel like they're kind of similar in some aspects, even as a sign in here that says, do not blow up. So what I think I'm gonna do for this prank is I'm going to start removing every single torch from his underground house. Now, I do have full bright on so you guys can still see. So even though it might look bright, it's not. And mobs are going to start spawning soon. So I kind of need to break all these torches as fast as possible and pick them up not to leave any trail. There might have been one outside of his house. Oh, there's actually a couple right here. I need, I need every single torch. No torch must remain unbroken, ladies and gentlemen. And here we go, the final torch. The last thing we have to do, we have to shut the door. We cannot let him know that we were here. How long is this noob going to keep me waiting? I've been here waiting for ages. Okay, um, and I've got... I'm holding my bottle and he doesn't even realize it. Okay, I'm gonna tuck it away just in case. Oh, he's noticing he doesn't have any torches. Although he spelt his torches as Tor. Oh, this is bad. Oh no! Hold on, hold on, we need to follow him. We need to follow him. What's he doing? Oh, I hear some bombs! Yes! They're spawning! Yes! Why is he running? Why are you running this way? No, you need to run towards the exit, noob! No, no, oh my gosh, they are spawning so fast. Oh no, can they see me? Mobs, do not attack your master! No, 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 no! Hold on, how long is he going to last? Is he still alive? Hold on, I need to go find this noob. Noob, where art thou? Where did he go? Wait, did he actually die? He actually died? No way! I didn't even see him die. Okay, these mobs actually do a lot of damage. I am going to stay out of here. I have like an invisible arrow in my leg. This is just one of the many more pranks to come. Okay, I know what you're thinking right now. That prank wasn't the best. Well, let me tell you something. 
it was. And this one is even better. I like to call this one the infinite door prank. I think most of these pranks would honestly work even against my wife, Brianna. But basically what's gonna happen is Noob is going to have a lot of doors to go through. And I mean a lot of doors. But once he gets to the end, okay, I don't even remember placing this many doors, I promise you. At the very end, there's just a casual hole of lava. Now, what I need to do is I need to mine some blocks so I can spectate this. I think the best place to do it, let's see where, oh, I want, you know what? Before he falls in the lava, the last thing I want him to see is my face. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. He's gonna walk through, fall, and oh my gosh, I'm a savage. I think, you know, can I get some savage comments down below? Oh, and speaking of savage, check out this new Instagram photo. Do you guys not follow me on Instagram? Well, you should, at RealTBNRFrags. Oh no, oh no, 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 guys, we forgot to shut the doors. Oh no. Okay, I got so excited plugging my Instagram, I forgot. Oh no, he's typing in the chat door. We're not gonna have enough time to shut all the doors, so I'm just going to shut as many as I can without getting spotted. Come on, come on, there we go. Replace the cobblestone. Oh my gosh, he's so close. He's actually so, oh, I forgot a door. I forgot a door. We can fit, oh, okay. That was way too close for comfort. Yes, keep opening. Yeah, he's so confused. He's like, why are there so many doors? I do not remember this. Yes, come on, just a few more. Oh, stay shifted. I do not want him to see me. Yes, one more. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe after this pranking video, I will buy him a course to Preston's Pro Minecraft School. It's only $10 an hour. We've had a lot of fun in the noobs underground house, but we're not quite done yet. You know what we gotta do. We gotta to blow it up. So what I am going to do is I've kind of redecorated his house. You'll see this red stained glass. So I built a maze and I even gave him a hint with the red stained glass, but I'm assuming he's probably not going to notice the hint. But eventually if he follows it correctly and gets to the end of the maze, it's actually very long. I spent a lot of time on this more than I care to admit. But anyways, that's not the point of this, okay? If you follow it all the way through until the very end, you get to the beautiful treasure room. But the unfortunate thing about this treasure room is I'm going to be filling it with TNT. And then I'm going to apply stone over it because of course we gotta cover our TNT. I can't just leave it uncovered. But once you place the stone over here like so, place down, oh no, I forgot which, um, one moment. Okay, now I kind of feel like the new beer. Look, rookie mistake, I will not let that happen again, okay? You saw nothing. You know what, editors, cut that out of the video. Just a couple of more, here we go. I gotta be really careful though, because I don't want to step on these pressure plates. So I'm gonna go over here. Do we think the noob is going to fall for the same free diamonds thing twice? Of course he is, he's a noob, come on. Free diamonds at the end of the maze. <laughs> Hashtag not clickbait. I really want to see if he actually takes this challenge. And of course, you know we've got to watch the noob. Like, I can't just do this and not watch him from above. So I built this special ladder to get us on top of the glass area. And now you have a much better view of the red stained glass. Like, it's actually a really easy maze to complete. But I am a little worried that I might have gone overboard for the noob. Uh, we'll see. There he is. Oh, he wants the free diamonds. Yes, don't you? Oh, there he goes. I wonder how long it's going to take him to look up. Oh my gosh, he's already gone in the complete wrong direction. No, 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 no. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> no, no, why would you break the torches? That's supposed to illuminate your path. We all have friends that are this newbie in Minecraft. Would you do me a favor and comment and tag some of them? Oh no, dude, he's like a dog chasing his tail. Stop, stop, thank you. Oh my gosh, I thought we were gonna be here forever. You know what, I can't even have my headset on for this. It's driving me that insane. There he goes. Oh, he's actually making good progress. I am impressed with him. You know what, if he can manage to complete it in the next 10 seconds, I will actually take out the pressure plates. 10, nine, eight, seven, five, Six, wait, three, <laughs> two, four. Uh, you, you get the point. I don't think he's gonna complete it before the 10 seconds is over. He's still struggling over here. What are you doing? Maybe I spoke too soon? Yes. No, no. Goodness gravy, Scott. Yes, go this way. Yes, yes. This is perfect. Come on. Yes, he sees the diamonds. We see it in the chat. Yes. Yes, I hear the pressure plates going off. Come on. Yes. Wait. Oh, no. Wait, did he actually die? Oh, my gosh. 
<laughs> Wait, he left behind a wooden axe. Just a wooden axe. This is all we have to remember him. He actually managed to mine one of the diamond ores. Oh, now that's just sad. This may be one of the saddest moments in Minecraft I've ever experienced. Once again, Noob had to move houses because we blew up his backup house, uh, but I managed to find his backup backup house. No, this is literally not clickbait. It is a backup backup house. It's really, really, really small. This is actually even smaller than his underground house, I think. And it's such a backup house. He has a furnace placed backwards and there's nothing inside of his chest. But the biggest mistake that the noob made was he built his house right next to this grass hill. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to cover the entire house with grass blocks, and I bet you one million likes on this video, he is never going to find it. It's pretty much like hiding in plain sight, essentially. So all we have to do is place these down and cover it up. And he's, he's gonna have no idea where his house is. He's probably gonna think like, did it grow legs and move? I mean, knowing a noob, I, I think that's probably what they would do. So after all of our hard work, this is what the covered house looks like. And I'm not going to lie, if I was on an SMP server playing with friends and somebody did this to my house, I don't even know if I would recognize it. This looks like any ordinary Minecraft hill in the plains. Are we in the plains? We, wait, yes, we are in the plains. I had to double check that. But seriously, I like, can you guys notice? I literally can't even tell the difference. This prank might be too far. I really hope he actually manages to find his house. Oh my gosh. This could be his last house that he has left. I'm going to be watching from this hill that's like right on the opposite side. I just want to see if he manages to notice anything. Oh my gosh. Wait, a little bit of a giveaway. The water is still there. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Perfect. You gotta love sponges in Minecraft, ladies and gentlemen. Now we could go hide. If this works, we might go down in history as one of the best Minecraft pranksters of all time. I already have the title Parkour King, but I don't know if I have the title Prank King, but I am willing to take the challenge. Here he is. Oh my gosh. He has no idea. He is currently jumping on his house. <laughs> does he really? No, 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 no. Is, does he really not know? Okay, if he really doesn't know, I'm kind of starting to feel bad. Oh no, he doesn't know. He's looking. No, 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 Floopy. Seriously? Floopy, do you think he actually knows where his house is? What do you know? You're slime. Oh my gosh, he says, where's my house? No. Dude. He's still looking for it. It's right beneath your feet. Okay, now I'm kind of getting angry because I want to type so bad. It's right below you, but I can't give away the prank. He's freaking out. Is he running away? Dude, noob, your house is the other, no, the other way. Turn around. Oh my gosh. He is running towards the extreme plains biome. Does he not realize what biome he built his house in? What if he never finds his house again? When you throw this thing out, it spawns a bunch of fake diamonds and they look so real. I know they're fake, but like, I almost want to just try to go up and collect them, but obviously nothing happens. But as soon as you reel the fishing rod back in, all the fake diamonds disappear. But wait a second, hold on. There's even more. Using a few of these custom items, we're going to be making a whirlpool generator. This is the true trap and the way that we are going to get ultimate sweet revenge on noob1234. As you can see, the noob is preoccupied watching his crops grow. More specifically, I think those are carrots. I'm not sure why he is watching carrots grow, but that does not matter to us. We're going down into this giant swimming pond. I'm going to put the whirlpool generator right in the center. But now, first things first, drinking the invisibility potion. This is very important. We do not want the noob to know who is coming up with these amazing traps. The bait has been set. I repeat, the bait has been set. Is the noob coming over here? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, I'm going to hide. I don't want him to see my floating fishing rod. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, are those diamonds? Oh, he took the bait. Yo, this trap could not have come out any more perfect. If you guys are excited for the next six traps, do me a favor, leave a like on this video. For the second trap, we have called in backup, ladies and gentlemen. We are not gonna be able to do this by ourselves. There they are, the infamous girl one, two, three, four. 
Hello, Preston. Use this dirt net for your next noob trap. This is not what I asked her to bring. Why did you bring me this dirt bug net? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna craft the scaffolding, compass, and the honeycomb together to make a bee tracker. Now all we gotta do is follow the compass to the bees and we can make the ultimate trap net that is going to make any noob in Minecraft freak out. Oh, yep. Here we go. If we can get four bees, we're gonna have the perfect amount to make this next trap. All right, now, but check this out. Now, using the dirt bug net that girl one, two, three, four brought us and the bees, we can make the mega dirt net. As you can see, we have noob one, two, three, four in his house, unsuspecting of anything that's about to happen. But whoop, bam, place down the mega dirt net and just watch what happens. Worker bees are now fully encasing his house and basically what is a giant net trap for the noob. While we're waiting for the bees to finish building this mega net trap, do me a favor. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that red subscribe button and make it gray, okay? It's finished. This has got to be one of the best traps we've ever done on the channel. I am having way too much fun. I can barely even see the noob's name tag inside of this giant net trap. So by now in the video, you're probably feeling a little bad for the guy. I mean, he is a noob after all. Does he really deserve everything we've been doing to him? I mean, of course he does. He's noob one, two, three, four. I'm convincing the noob to go mining with me. He loves to go mining, as all noobs do, because they want to find diamonds, right? Like, I mean, you can't blame the guy. Unfortunately for Mr. Noob, we have these. These are spider snacks used to feed derpy spiders, which only only live on noob Minecraft worlds. Don't ask me how I know this exists. I just know they exist. I promise. The derpy spiders are actually really friendly creatures, except when you feed them the spider snack, they start to kind of wake up a little bit and they're a little bit, uh, they're a lot to handle, okay? They're kind of a mess. Hey, noob, I found some diamonds, some diamonds over here. There he is. I was like, where did he go? Oh, noob, one, two, three, four. Oh no, the derpy spiders are placing their cobwebs all over you. I don't even know why this is happening. The best part about this trap is even if he tries to start mining his way out of the cobwebs of the sword, the derpy spiders are just going to lay cobwebs infinitely. Our handsome friend Diglett is going to help us trap the noob by digging a hole underneath him. But we've got to bait the noob to come into our general area before we can make that happen. As we all know, there's not really cell phones in Minecraft, so we've got to find a way to send a message to the noob to come over here so Diglett can trap him. I found something very cool in the Terra biome nearby, but you need to come quickly, otherwise it's going to disappear. I think I used improper grammar here because I put a period and then but, but we're not going to talk about that. Oh, I've got to sign the book too. Love, Preston. Now you combine the book with an ender pearl and you get ender mail. So all you gotta do is yeet this inside of the air. And now we wait for Noob to receive our message. Diglett will be performing the magnitude attack for all of you viewers on YouTube because he kind of wants to show off a little bit. Oh, and speak of the Noob who can't even see because his helmet covers his derpy little eyes. Let him get just a little bit closer. And magnitude attack, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Diglett's underground. He's seeking out noob one, two, three, four, and whoop bam! Had to take a little bit of a step back there. I thought I was actually gonna be trapped inside of there. Oh no, noob! What happened? I mean, at least he's got a water source. Actually, you know what? I can't let him climb out of the water, guys. I need to block off this water source. Noob, I'm very sorry, but you need to stay down there and learn your lesson. What lesson is he learning exactly? I, I don't know. Maybe it's never to trust Preston because this poor guy... <laughs> I feel like we troll Noob in every single episode and he never gets revenge on us. I feel awful. I think by now, Noob1234 is getting a little bit suspicious of the activities we've been doing, and that is why we have built this. Very very similar to the bee net that was being built automatically, you right click this thing and a pool is literally being built in front of your eyes. I really wish something like this actually existed in real life because then you could just kick back, put your feet up on your desk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I've got hairy legs, okay, don't judge me. Sit back, relax, drink some water, and watch the builders build a pool. Fun fact for everybody watching this video, I was a lifeguard for two years before I made YouTube videos, so I figured this outfit was very fitting for the occasion. Oh shoot, wait, hold on, I missed it out. Noob1234 is nearby. He says, yay, swimming. Let me in, lifeguard. Oh, yeah, how you like that water, chief? Is it feeling pretty good? Because I got one of these. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize what this was going to do. It only froze the top layer of the pool, which means he basically has no way to get out of the pool. I mean, if he breaks the ice block, he can get out, but I don't think he's intelligent enough to know exactly how to do that. Just left click 
The ice. Oh my gosh, he drowned. We just released the official Preston Plays merch skin pack on the Minecraft Marketplace store. So if you want to pick it up, go ahead and do so. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, what if you could trap a noob in a VR headset? If you've ever watched the anime Sword Art Online, that's basically what we're about to do. However, I'm going to need a little bit of help from my friend, Mr. Baby Noob, aka the son of Noob1234. How are you doing today, Baby Noob? He says, hello, for this trap, I am going to need one computer chip. Okay, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure. Here, take, take the computer chip. Here, I, take, take, there you go. No, don't eat it. Don't, no, no. Oh my gosh, he just ate the computer chip. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Why would you eat the computer chip? You know what? I'm not even going to ask questions. I'm going to put this into the computer. And now we enter the virtual reality realm, ladies and gentlemen. This is probably one of the most difficult traps we have in the episode, so we need to place down VR barriers for the noob diagonally, just like this. And now we charge the particle barrier. This thing looks so sick. <sighs> oh man, okay, the noob's not even gonna know what hit him. So it's time to go back. We are now back to reality. There's one thing else that I'm going to need for Mr. Baby Noob. Can you, you know what it is. I, yes, thank you. This is the noob computer chip. So all we gotta do to make this bad boy work, combine it in the crafting table. Now we've got the loaded VR headset to trap him in the world where we just set up our particle barrier. But this next part requires us to be extremely sneaky. I've got a splash potion of blindness. The noob says la la la. I don't care how, no, 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 no. What are you doing, what are you doing? Come on, come on, come on, come on. And three, two, three, two, three, two, four. Yeah, yeah, take some of this. Boom, headshot, we just got him. Oh, you can't see me, can you? Why don't you try on this VR headset? Oh no. The only unfortunate thing about trapping the noob in the virtual reality world is we can't actually watch him being trapped. However, I can assure you he is trapped and he is not getting out for a very long time. I hope you are all paying very close attention for the grand finale, the seventh way to trap a noob in Minecraft. We are going to be feeding him to the void. This is a god pickaxe. As you can probably tell by the crazy amount of enchants it has on it, you can literally break any block, including bedrock. It's instant. Look at this. Boom. Why haven't they added this to Minecraft? Is it too overpowered? It's probably a little too overpowered. It's got 502 attack damage. Wow. Okay, so you're probably wondering, why did I open up this hole in the void? The reason is... Oh, I didn't mean to break that. No, no, no. Okay. The reason we opened up a hole in the void is we need to feed the void. So this is really weird. But now that we've got bedrock, we can make food that the void will actually eat. The void is very picky about his diet, okay? He likes block sandwiches. Check this out. You throw it down in the pit. Oh my god, the void is talking to us. What is this? <laughs> it's food. I gave you food. Oh my gosh, you can hear him eating. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, I don't like this. It's like a horror movie. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. I'm glad you liked it. Clearly, I'm a culinary professional inside of Minecraft. Best thing I've ever eaten. Should have gone vegan years ago. You misspelt vegan. Vegan is not spelt V-E-A-G-A-N. It's V-E-G-A-N. Even I know how to spell vegan and I'm not a vegan. Oh my gosh, okay. We should not hang around here for very long. <laughs> that is a very dangerous place below us right now, ladies and gentlemen, and we do not want to get caught up in this mess. Oh, look at what is happening down there. I think the void is consuming everything that was down there in the basement. My goodness, I should stop there. People need to play after all. Yeah, if you could not consume me, void, look at the lag. Oh my gosh, the void has caused so much lag on my Minecraft server. Look at how laggy this is. Oh no, the noob is here. We do not have enough time. We need to cover up the void hole as quickly as we can. I think we're gonna make it just in time. Put a sign there, free diamonds. Do we do it? Yes, we did it just in time before the noob managed to get down here. Yes, noob, go for your free diamonds. I'm going to stand back at a very safe distance. Oh no, <laughs> look at him. We are feeding a person to the void. Oh my gosh. Oh, the void does not like him. He said he doesn't taste good. He's spitting him back up. I've never seen the void consume something and then not enjoy what it's being consuming. You may or may not have watched the video where he made me say yes to him for 24 hours, but that was kind of the last straw. I know somewhere in this dirty house, he has a computer with all of his passwords saved, including his Minecraft account password. I mean, come on. Actually, I'm curious. Do you guys write your passwords? passwords down on like a notebook or do you save them on your phone or your computer? I personally probably shouldn't be telling you guys this. I save mine on my bada bing bada boom. Why do this guy's got a dope computer? For being a noob, 
That is a really sick PC. Ah, uh, but of course, the password for the computer. I really thought the noob wouldn't have a password for his computer considering he's a noob. He might be a little bit smarter than I gave him credit for. If I can find his cell phone, maybe he doesn't have a password on his phone. What is this? <laughs> he's got a tree inside of his Minecraft house. What is this guy doing? Okay, so this, this whole time, right? I've been looking in every chest in his house and he's got a plethora of Minecraft chests that are just completely empty. I open up the bedroom doors it's just the phone's just laid on the ground, man. Like, okay. Um, that was like way too easy. Please answer the security questions. But, but, but what is the name of your pet? What is your favorite block? And what is the name of your brother? I know his favorite block is dirt. That is very obvious. Now, the one thing that I'm very suspicious of is what is the name of your brother? I'm pretty sure the noob doesn't have a brother, and if he does, that is kind of freaking me out. I know you guys watching this video are loyal, but I used to have people all the time asking me, hey, are you, do you have fake siblings? I come from a family of six in total, which means I have five brothers and sisters, and I would keep doing videos with like my little brothers, my little sisters, and they were like, Preston, stop faking your siblings. I'm like, what did I do? Just hire, did I hire an actor to come film Minecraft videos with me? Okay, listen, jokes aside about fake siblings or not, if we're gonna find out the answers to the security questions, we gotta go to the source of information. I don't particularly like talking to this individual. This is girl 1234's house who happens to be noob's girlfriend. She's kind of weird, but I mean, I'm kind of weird too, but she's like, like, bad weird you know like not like a good weird but like a kind of like a crazy weird it doesn't matter because i will do whatever it takes to get the answers to these security questions oh dude just look at her face oh it's hard to look at her face okay all right we're good oh she just told me to come inside do me a favor guys make sure you leave a like down below on this video i'd love to get a hundred thousand likes especially for getting this kind of epic revenge on noob one two three four i think it's kind of hot and spicy so hi what are you doing today so we gotta be kind of sneaky about this. So I'm gonna tell her, come to feed Noob1234's pet. Cause I have no idea what kind of pet he has. We've gotta be a little bit sneaky here. If I just ask her straight up, hey, what's your boyfriend's security questions to his phone? She's gonna definitely just tell me no. Oh no, she's mad. She's like, you break me too much. If you earn forgiveness, I can maybe. Oh gosh, bruh. What kind of forgiveness are we talking about here? She says, need pet food from store. Can I go get? I, I, what am I, am I, am I turning into her assistant? <laughs> What's happening? Now you might be wondering to yourself, Preston, why didn't you go to the store? Why are you here in the forest? Well, I went to the pet store. I asked for food and they told me that wild pigs <laughs> in the forest have stolen the food. Who would have imagined wild pigs stealing pet food? So now I'm literally on this wild goose chase here in the forest looking for pet food and finding absolutely nothing. I take it back. I'm like wandering through the forest and I find this. We, we, I just got a bunch of pigs. There's pigs and there's some kind of meteorite looking thing. Is this the pet food? Are you kidding me? You found the pet food. I don't know what's more strange. The fact that there's this in the middle of the forest or that we found pet food on the very top of it. Because let me tell you something. Pigs are not agile enough to climb up to this thing and then leave pet food over there. Nor are they intelligent enough. Oh my god! What the- I punched a- I punched a pig and it turned into pig zombies! Okay, okay! Alright, so lesson learned. Do not punch these pigs. The, oh my goodness gracious. I am going to leave this area now, thank you very much. Hey! Listen, <laughs> dude, did you guys notice this sign? Wrong the doorbell first. Don't ring it. You gotta wrong it. I'm gonna start saying that now. I'm gonna start going up to people's houses and be like, hey, I wronged your doorbell. Why didn't you answer? Okay, but like, she says uno momento. She could speak a little bit of Spanish because she can't spell ring. Yes, I have the food. I gotta know what pet Noob1234 has. He's had pet cows and sheep in the past, but that's it. Take a seat. Okay, these are stairs. I know, I know you want to pretend that this is a bench, but this is a chair. Or this is, a, this is a stair. Girl1234 takes the pet food. You want to meet knob pet. <laughs> I can call them. Yeah, it's okay. Just call the knob pet. I love the knob pet. Yeah, by the way, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. We just dropped this brand new Trust Your Fire t-shirt. It's probably like one of my favorite, low key. Not, not to shamelessly plug or anything like that, but look at this. I even got the matching Trust Your Fire water bottle. Is that a moving piece of block of dirt? Hello? <laughs> what am I looking at? Wait a second. So wait, does he have a pet 
block of dirt and then it's his favorite block wait i'm so confused i just saw a dirt block hopping around in somebody's house frolicking where did it go it's gone it, it, it's still going look at this what is it doing i feel like i've had enough minecraft to last me a lifetime after seeing a dirt block hop around and it talks it, ta it wait wait what it talks it, it it's going to take a nap okay yeah, dude, I've, de <laughs> I've definitely seen enough of Minecraft to last me a lifetime now. This gives us one answer to the security question. His pet is Dirt1234 with a capital D. So at least we have one of the security questions answered. The only person I don't like talking to more than Girl1234 is Pro1234. I'm at his house right now because we got to get an answer on what the name of Noob1234's brother is. If he even has a brother. And he's got, look at this. He has creeper guards in the front of his house before you can even approach it. Like, that's so rude. I come from Texas and we have Southern hospitality. Speaking of Southern hospitality, if you guys could show me some by clicking that red subscribe button and making it gray, I would very much so appreciate you. Look at this guy. Sup, loser. What do you want? What are you <laughs> oh, I see now. You're gonna stand all the way up there and call me a loser? Give me the name of noob one two three Ford's brother. All information must be earned by climbing the tower. If you guys watch anime, there's this anime called Tower of God, and I feel like I'm literally entering into an anime right now. What is this? Oh, basic park. Oh, look at this. He's getting fancy with it. Oh, oh, little head hit. Look at this. I didn't even need to sprint to make that, by the way. Just timed it so perfectly. Shulker box jumps, though. Okay, shulker box jumps are weird, man. I I'm not the biggest fan of them. Oh, look at this. Free button for Preston. I don't know. Like, shulker box jumps are just kind of cray cray. I'm not a huge fan of them. Wait, wait, is there a button over here? Secret button? Oh, these jumps are so obnoxious. Oh, how do I get up here? Hello? Hello? Okay, I think we got to go this way. Oh, look at this. Look at this easy parkour. Do you guys like watching parkour? I don't know why, but I find parkour to be like, it's strange. But to me, parkour is so soothing. I feel like parkour for a lot of people kind of stresses everybody out. I like it. I don't know what it is, but jumping on blocks in Minecraft is just very satisfying. There's just like the satisfaction, okay? The buttons have been clicked. The parkour has been accomplished. And now it's time to finally face-to-face -face meet the pro. Yeah, what do you think about them apples? Well, a deal is a deal. Even though it took you a year, that took like two minutes, bro. Let's just cool down your jets, chief. What do you want exactly? I don't know. How about the thing I already asked for once? I'm literally going to send in the same chat message. I, there you go. I sent it again. Same thing. Duh, it's bro1234. How do you not know this? You are the real noob. Is he calling me a nerd? Bro, what are you trying to do? Were you trying to flex on me? Let's have a PvP battle, bro. I'm going to literally crack my hands. You really want to do this? You, re you really want to fight me? Listen, if you fight me, I will literally end you. I bet you I can beat this guy with a pickaxe. Let's go. <laughs> that was the most anticlimactic, miserable PvP battle I've ever had in Minecraft. The levels of satisfaction, fat zero. <laughs> that was terrible. So we're back at Noob's house. We've got all the answers we need. I just got to go find his cell phone again. I also just wanted to say very quickly, thank you guys so much for being the best viewers on the whole entire planet. I know I like, I say this all the time, but seriously, you guys have changed my life so much since I started making YouTube videos 10 years ago. And if it wasn't for each and every one of you, I would not be here and I feel extremely blessed. So just, I mean, thank you so very much. You guys rock. And you mean the world to me. But not to get super sappy or anything like that. We do have a Minecraft account to hack over here. So please answer the security questions. What is the name of your pet? Dirt1234. Favorite block? Dirt. Name of your brother? Bro1234. Yes! Processing input security access granted. Wait, are we in? Oh my. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo! We're inside of the phone with some bootleg games. The Dirt Crush Saga. We're gonna start with the first application. We've got Dirt Runner. This is basically Temple Run, but with dirt inside of Minecraft. This is actually so sick. It's like a mini game within a mini game. Okay, so if we get hit by the, t if we, oh my gosh, that's gonna kill us. So if we get hit by the exploding dirt, I'm pretty sure it's all over. Oh, we got parkour too, bro. This is so sick. Oh, give me that. Oh, give me that loot. Give me that loot. Look at that zombie. Look at that zombie. He tried to touch me. Oh my gosh. Wait, can I get this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that. Give me that. 
Come on, give me that gold. Let's go, baby. Oh, dude. Ooga boo. Oh, what is this? Lasers. This is so sick. Oh, okay. Wait for the lasers to go. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is about to get a little bit more difficult. All right, flames have... Oh my goodness. Dude, I've actually never done something like this in Minecraft before, but I can get used to this. This is wild. I can't believe I just did that without dying. I'm very proud of myself. Wait, what's over here? <gasps> oh, this is looking spicy. That's a spicy jump. What's over here? Okay, so I just came over here for nothing? Oh, this lava now, dude. This is crazy. Oh, I think we're close to the end. I see the end. Victory. Wait, give me this gold. Yes. Victory, baby. Oh, wait a second. Did you guys see that? It said first letter is N. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, so doing these app games, we're getting the letters to his password. Does that mean he only has a three letter password? Bruh, please make sure that your passwords for your accounts are at least 12 characters with like symbols and digits, numbers, letters, like capitals, all of the nonsense. All right, we're going to Dirt Crush Saga. What is this? I don't even know how to play this game. Oh, wait, wait, okay, so blue? Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so I've gotta use the right weapons to shoot these things to get points. Okay, so I'm using the red gun on the red, yellow gun on the yellow. This is actually really fun. Why is this so fun? This is like so basic, but like really, really, really fun. Okay. Oh, I shot the wrong one. So you get negative points if you shoot the wrong targets. Look at all these yellows. Let's go, baby. All right, we're on the blue now. Come on, blue. Oh, back to the red, back to the red. We got a lot of red spots. I don't know. Oh, we did. That was the fastest game ever. So we've got N-O. That is the first two letters to the password. My all-time favorite game, Flappy Bird, is now turned into Flappy Dirt. Oh my, wait, what? Um, hello? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got a, <laughs> look at this. We're flapping. This is so sick. Okay, I don't know how far we have to go, but I think I can pick up the pace a little bit. Oh, this is so much fun. Why does, this should be a legit mini game in Minecraft. So I'm pressing F on my keyboard and it like flaps my wings to like resemble Flappy Bird. All right, we gotta go up. Oh, don't touch. Oh, oh, that was so close. So if you touch the top or the bottom, it resets your progress. So you have to be really careful. Oh, this is a high one. Oh, 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 I don't know how we didn't get reset there. Oh, baby, dude, I am cruising for bruisings right now. Oh, I can see the end. Wait, I swear we're about to get to the end. I mean, I don't swear because I'm a Christian, but I swear we're about to get there. Come on, here we go, brother. You can do it, Adrian. Yo, Adrian. Oh, oh. Wait, the last letters. So the first letter was N, second letter was O, and the last two letters we just got O and uh, OB. Well, I know what that spells. That definitely spells noob. Why did I just try that in the first place on the computer before doing all of this nonsense? Hopefully this is the last time we have to go back to Noob's house. We can finally enter the password into his computer so that we can get his Minecraft password account. Or his Minecraft account password. You know what I meant. Noob! If this works, I'm gonna lose it. Bruh! <laughs> No! Wait a second, look at this, we turned into the noob. Hold on, I gotta go onto, uh, I gotta go into an actual Minecraft server to see if this actually works. Ladies and gentlemen, the real moment of truth. When we log into Hypixel, will we have the noob1234 Minecraft account? Hold on, hold on, I gotta type in chat. Yeet! Let's go! Oh my gosh. This is, by the way, this is not a nickname or anything like that. I can prove it to you guys that this is legitimately the new 1234 Minecraft account. Check this out. This is the Minecraft launcher for Java. And if you look at the top left hand corner, it's really small, but it says new 1234, which means we legitimately could play on his Minecraft account and he will have no idea. We're currently standing on the first prank location. So as you can probably tell, yeah, we've got barrier blocks over here, but there's a gap in the barrier blocks where you can fall down. We're gonna place a ton of lava down here and hopefully bait noob1234. The lava has been placed. So you can see the barrier blocks, they end right about here. Oh, speak of the devil, here comes noob1234. Oh, he's a little cautious of the lava down below him, isn't he? Oh my, he says. I don't think I've ever seen the noob say, oh my. See, it is very, very safe. I don't think that he believes me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the diamond hoe I've got in this chest and I'm gonna place it down on top of the lava pit. All right, see, look, I told you it is safe. Yes, come grab the diamond hoe. Come on, do it. <laughs> come on. He's not gonna make the jump. I 
I told you he wasn't going to make the jump. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm very pleased with myself. Diglett is also very pleased with this prank. Can we get a clap down below? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to prank number two, otherwise known as the fake fireworks prank. As you can see in our beautiful inventory over here, we have a ton of nonsense. Tripwire hooks, string, dispensers, firework rockets, TNT, you name it. We got the whole caboodle. I like that word. Uh, caboodle is a great word. Our beautiful friend Noob is going to be yet again pranked. I informed him that I felt bad about the lava prank. I don't really feel bad about the lava prank. All of these tripwires are rigged with the dispensers and the fireworks we had in our inventory earlier. He's going to make his way all the way down to the end of the hallway, and this is going to be really with way too much TNT for him to handle. I also decided to go above because I wanted to be safe and I did not want to be seen <laughs> by the noob. Look at him, he's like, he's like, what is this? Redemption for Lava D? What is Lava D? Does anybody know what Lava D stands for? I have literally have no idea. Free prize here. Preston, where are you? <laughs> yes! The fake fireworks are working out perfectly. This is exactly how I wanted it to go. Come on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> You need to let me know down below in the comments if you think these pranks would work on other YouTubers. I feel like they work perfectly on noobs, but I don't know if they would work on intelligent YouTubers. Although they probably would work on my wife, Brianna, and probably Skeppy, but everybody else, I don't know. Oh, and speaking of Brianna, the next prank we're pulling off is gonna be on her, so I really hope this one works. I've got this crafting recipe for flying boots, and no, I'm not kidding. You surround chainmail boots with feathers, and of course, this is all custom made, so this won't work in vanilla Minecraft, but thankfully, we got it all customized. And then what do you get? Wing boots. Where you slap these bad boys on, and if you hold the sneak key, you literally will fly any direction that your character's looking at. You will fly down below. I had no idea, but these boots work underwater to make you swim incredibly fast. Oh, these are so sick. However, the unfortunate thing is Brianna will not be getting these wing boots she thinks she's going to be getting because I'm adding in a self-destructor to the boots. So once they are used, they are going to unfortunately self-destruct. Like any good wife, they love surprises. So I feel like such a terrible person for doing this. Dude. I've got this sign. It says, Brianna Hart, your present is at the top. So we're going to climb over here at the top, just showing you guys the parkour. It's pretty easy. Even Brianna's going to be able to do it. And that was not an insult, by the way. But Brianna, we all know, she kind of struggles with parkour. You know, she only became a gamer like a year and a half ago. So you go to the very top. You see the chest. Boom. We're going to put the wing boots there at the very center because it looks a lot nicer. Who else can disagree? And now that we've consumed our invisibility potion, we wait. Do me a favor. If you guys see a red subscribe button in the top corner anywhere, make sure you make it great and enable those notifications so you never miss out on a brand new YouTube video. All right, Brianna, you're sending a lot of dialogue. I want to see you go. Okay, timer starts now. I'm looking at the time. Here she goes. Is it going to actually take 35 seconds? Oh, she's already fallen once. Come on. Come on. It's a, it's a big jump right here, Tony. Hey, Tony Baloney, that's a big jump. Oh, I didn't even think about going in this. I went this way, although I think it's been over 35 seconds. I don't know what you placed your bets as in the time. Oh my gosh, she's opening the chest. Yes, put the boots on, Brie. Oh, I feel bad. She's like so excited. Oh no. Oh no. What's gonna happen? I'm nervous for her. Where's she going? Wait, I can't see her. Where'd she go? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Okay, I caught like the last glimpse of that and I just saw like an explosion in the middle of the sky. It looked like a, like a, like a goatfish exploded. Okay, so you probably already know where this prank is going. In this mine shaft, we have two different areas. We've got the diamonds await area, which everybody is going to want to go into. Just to make it even more enticing, I'm going to place additional... <laughs> diamond blocks inside of this area. And then if we go back outside of the door, you've got this kind of spooky area. It's not super spooky just yet, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to place down a spider spawner with a teleporting pad. So whenever the prank is, it is, is the person who's getting pranked the prank E? I don't know what the correct grammar of that is, so I'm gonna call them the prank E for now. Obviously, they're going to want to go inside this door because there's nothing but diamonds. We're gonna place a teleporting pad on the inside where they just can't see it. Then we're gonna go in here, place the teleporting pad where they can't see it yet again. Spider spawner very quickly. I'm going to cap the spiders in there. Oh, that was like so close. Look how angry these guys are. I feel like they're like genetically modified angry spiders. And of course, as always, we drink the invisibility potion because we don't want nobody to notice us. The pranky for this one just so happens to be the NPC of Mr. Beast. Yeah, look at him. He's looking at this. Like <laughs> He's looking at the spider room and he's like, yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief. I love his spelling. Mm, I don't want any of this room, <laughs> but this room, look at those diamonds. Oh, didn't look down at the floor for the teleport pad, eh? did you, Chief? <laughs> oh, dude. 
Okay, I kind of feel bad about this one. Um, <laughs> I feel like any normal player in Minecraft would have fallen for this trick. And just to show you guys that it's not fake, it actually does work. Thankfully, I'm in Vanish, so I don't think the spiders will kill me. Oh, no. Oh, wait, I'm not... Wait, okay, the spiders can't see me. We are good, but as you can tell, the teleporting pads actually work. They're just reskinned stone pressure plates that we manipulated the code, but they work very well. And if you want to see more pranks with these teleporting pads, let me know in the comments. Uh, why does this... Wait, no, no, no. Wait a second. Hold on, they don't teleport back. Oh no, it's a one-way teleport pad. I did not realize that. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have made a giant oop, which means let's move on to the next prank. The pranky for this one is gonna be Cactus Jones. This is a character we haven't seen in a very long time. And of course, he is a cactus, and the one thing that tempts the cactus is going to be more free cactus. I don't particularly think that cactus people are going to be interested in diamonds, so the free diamonds method is not gonna work on Cactus Jones. The one bad thing about this prank is that it is very painfully obvious that something is going to happen once they step on the pressure plate, hence all of the redstone. Yeah, here he comes. Look at this handsome cactus man. If you guys didn't know, we actually have a Cactus Jones plushie at PrestonStyles.com just in case you're as big of a fan of him as I am. He's so cute though, like low key. I feel kind of bad doing this to him. But such is life being a friend of mine. Yes, the ice has begun to melt around my friend. The ice has melted near Cactus Jones. He doesn't know what to do. His knees are weak. Arms, spaghetti. Something like that. I don't remember the song anymore. <laughs> okay, the ice is disappearing a lot slower than I thought it was. Technically, he can make one of the jumps, but apparently he's not the most, you know, parkour-friendly guy. Yes! There we go! Frozen in the ice block. Oh, I did not. <laughs> oh, shoot. I just realized he suffocated. I didn't actually mean for that to happen. <laughs> for the sixth prank, this is probably my favorite prank in the entire video. Check this out. Not only do we have a chest filled with diamonds that are already pranked? No matter how hard you try, you cannot bring these diamonds out of the chest into your inventory. It just doesn't work because the chest is rigged. Speaking of rigged, the contestant is going to have to choose two paths. Either this one with painful plates or the sticky cobwebs. I'm hoping they choose the pressure plates because who wants to go through a bunch of cobwebs? I mean, look at this. It's a mess. We've modified the cobwebs so you can basically just fly through them all the way to the end to win the race. Now, I cannot say the same thing about the pressure plates. Some of the pressure plates will not let you jump. No matter how much touch the space bar, you cannot jump off of some of these pressure plates. And they give you blindness and nausea. Basically, this one is absolutely terrible. But it is possible. You can still, if you wait for the effects to clear, it is still possible for you to finish using the pressure plate path. Although, the cobwebs are like 10 times faster. Okay, listen. Don't ask why there's a leprechaun racing against me. Even I don't know the answer to this. Diglett, do you know why we're racing against a leprechaun? Yeah, even Diglett doesn't know. But apparently, we are racing against this guy, AK the Leprechaun. All right, he asks, what do I have to do? Choose your path and beat me in a race to the end. Okay, you tell me when to start, I'll go. All right, three, two, one, go. I'm gonna give him a little bit of a head start because I think he's gonna need it. There's just no way he can be this. I'm literally already done. It only took, took like two seconds. Could you imagine if we got somebody on like Skeppy or my wife, Brianna, or somebody who normally plays Minecraft? They would be absolutely fuming right now. Come on, you can do it, little Leprechaun. You can do it. You can do it. Why would you jump in the lava? Why would you jump? Why would you jump in the lava? You know we don't sleep on the last prank of the episode. This one is a banger. Up in the sky right here. You can't see it, but there are invisible dispensers waiting to disperse TNT. The whole point of that is to scare the person that we're pranking into running into the safe house, coming inside of here, flicking the lever, which actually just opens up the abyss beneath you. But the cool thing is, flick the lever again, and you are in business. Also, probably one of the most epic things about this prank is I'm going to be right here next door watching through the window as hopefully Leah Ash ends up plummeting to her doom. Oh man, this is this is just gonna, this is going to be great. Obviously too, I've got, I've got to sell people really on this lever. So I'm going to say bunker lockdown. If you hear TNT, flick me. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be perfect. And now we patiently wait for our pranky, who, like I said, is Leah Ash of the Pink Roblox channel. What is this, she says? A bunker? Oh, no, this couldn't possibly be a bunker, Leah. Oh, no, the TNT, get inside quickly. Flick the lever. And there she goes. Bo, bo, bo. 